In this video, we'll be doing a quick recap of binary arithmetic. So we're going to be practicing addition and subtraction using two's complement as a technique. At the end of the video, for those of you that are interested, we're going to go into a brief discussion of why two's complement works using a little bit of modular arithmetic. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's get started by reviewing and practicing some of the arithmetic we did in class. So, for example, if we were trying to add uh, the number in binary, 101101, and the number 11011. We use our basic rules of bit addition in binary, where 0 plus 0 as bits added up to 0, uh, 1 plus 0 added up to 1, 0 plus 1 added up to 1, and 1 plus 1 as bits added up to 0, and we carry our 1 over to the next place. So trying this out for this number, we have 1 plus 1 is 0, carrying a 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carrying a 1. 0, carry the 1. 1, carry a 1. 0, carry a 1. And 1 plus 1, 0, carry a 1. And as a reminder, anytime we want to check our work, we can, if necessary, we can convert back to decimal. So this particular number is 1 plus no copies of 2 plus a 4 plus 8 plus no copies of 16 plus 32. So this number is uh, 45. Um, our second number that we're trying to add is 1 plus 2 plus no copies of 4 plus 8 plus 16. So our second number is 10, 11, 28. So our numbers added up to 72. So all we need to do to check our work is see whether or not our number here is 72. And so we have no copies of 1, no copies of 2, no copies of 4. We have a single copy of 8, no copies of 16, no copies of 32, and one copy of 64, giving us exactly what we hope. So we see that our bitwise addition, done very similarly to how we would perform addition in decimal, um, works just fine. All right, so let's actually try subtraction again using those same two numbers um, we used as our example for addition. So we're going to still be using 45 and I believe it was 28, um, but we'll, we'll check that in just a second. So our first number minus our second number, one very inefficient way to, to check what the difference of these two numbers is would be to convert it to uh, to to decimal, to compute our uh, you know our, our difference there, and then convert back to binary. Um, we don't want to do that. We'd like to instead use the technique of two's complement. To convert this difference into a sum. And so our starting point for two's complement is we're going to take the two numbers that we're attempting to subtract the smaller from the larger, and we're going to begin by padding to the length of the longer number, adding an appropriate number of zeros. So in this case, our shorter number, our smaller number, only um, had one smaller digit than our larger number, so we add a single zero. Now that we have, we've um, uh, added, you know, padded our number with the appropriate number of digits, we're going to go through um, systematically and replace every digit in our number with its opposite. So if it's a zero, we'll replace it with a one. A one, replace it with a zero. And so this form, I'm actually going to, instead of subtracting, I'm going to add these two numbers. So one plus zero is one. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, um, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. And what I'm left with here is a number that's only one away from the number that I actually want. So to finish our sum, we take our output, we discard our bit here, and actually if we have any other bits show up after we add this one, we'll also discard it. But we add these two together now and get one plus one is zero. Carry the one. Zero, zero, one. So our difference of these two numbers was this output. 
And so our final step of adding 1 is what we omitted in class. So this number, 10010, is exactly the difference we were trying to compute. So here was our, our final, final answer. Um, as a practice problem, I'd like you guys to try out right now, just take, take these two numbers. So let's do 1101110 and subtract from that 110101. Actually, let's make this a little more added. Let's try this guy out. So I'll have you guys try out um, this. Um, if you pause this video, try it yourself. On the next, uh, the next little bit, we'll work this one through together for practice. All right, let's try this out with that problem that I put on the other sheet. So we're going to start by writing out both of our numbers. So in this case, we're going to make our top number, we'll call that x and our bottom number we're going to call that y. And so we're going to start by adding as many zeros to the shorter number as we need to make both of these numbers the same length. So there's our new pair of numbers. So our second step is we're going to take our numbers down here and we're going to do a digit exchange where everywhere you see a 1, I'm going to add a 0, and everywhere you see a 0, I'm going to change it to a 1. So this will become 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh, so we've now exchanged our digits. And we're going to add these two new numbers together. So we've got 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1. So we're not quite done. Now that we've added our two numbers together, we're going to take our final answer there and add 1. Um, so our final answer is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And we actually had a bit over here that was further to the left of our bits. We're not going to carry that down. So this is our final answer to our original subtraction problem. So if we were um, keeping track of this somewhere, we have that our x times y, or sorry, x minus y, is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So we can do a quick check on our arithmetic here by converting back to decimal just to make sure that our, our difference is correct. So our upper number here is actually um, going through place by place. This is 2 plus 4, plus 8, um, no 16s, plus 32, plus 64. Um, a quick arithmetic check shows that this is 110. And our bottom number is 1, plus 4, plus 16, which is 21. Doing a quick uh, arithmetic check here, we see that this is 89. And going through our binary number on the left, this is 1 plus 8 plus 16, 1 plus 8 plus 16 plus 64, which is exactly 89. So there was a question about why 2's complement works. And to answer that, we're actually going to look at uh, thinking of this number y. Um, we're going to look at what happens when we add up y and its complement and 1. So this is really our secret trick, is we're taking our number y, we're taking y complement, which is where we swap all the digits of y and add 1, and let's look and see what this sum actually adds up to. So for y itself, we're going to view the padded version of y in this. So for y itself, um, I have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. For y complement, I have 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and I'll throw in 1 there afterwards. So this is written here, our y and y complement. Adding them together, I get a number that's all 1s. Um, when I add one more to this sum, every digit carries over. 
and I get one more, we call this an overflow bit. If we're working in a system where the only digits we're interested in are the digits to the right of this line, so if we discard this overflow bit, then what we've noticed is the numbers y plus y bar plus 1 add up to 0. And our goal, if we're taking a pair, so up here we called this x, if we wanted to calculate x minus y, we actually could um, instead uh, note, I'm going to subtract y from both sides here, y complement plus 1 is the same thing as minus y. So if we're willing to discard this overflow bit, then x minus y can be calculated instead as x plus y complement plus 1. So this 2's complement trick is essentially because so long as we're willing to discard an overflow bit, which for those of you that are a little more comfortable working with this, um, we're working mod 2 to the n, where n is the number of digits in x. Um, in modular arithmetic, negative y is the same thing as the complement plus 1. So this is not tremendously important for you to know at this time in the class, but we'll come back and talk about modular arithmetic a little more later in the semester. Um, for now, um, on the previous slide, all of the steps of two's complement are laid out. Um, I'll have lots of practice, pro practice problems for you folks to work on, and we'll talk about it in class. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday.